Good afternoon. Sorry for the uh, kind of a cheesy screen. I, um, I'm going to make it better. Uh, I just flat ran out of time today. I've been uh, quite a busy person today. So um, I'm, I'm going to make it better, but I'm trying to keep down on frames. That's why I don't have the, uh, or not frames, but CPU usage. Um, that's why I don't have the spinning logo anymore. And uh, I don't have the ticker up, so I'm trying to cut down back on CPU, which I'm I'm very successful at, at doing. It would appear. I've seen it bounce into the red a couple of times during the intro. That was a, a couple of times, and it was in and out. Um, but like right now, it it once in a great while goes over 50 uh, 50 percent CPU. So that's um, that's incredible. The idea is to be able to blast out. Uh, to, to more platforms at one time so Wow, so what have I been doing? Well uh, besides doing Windows and getting 5,000 programs back reinstalled um, I um, I got the buckets in today, so I got some video sh uh, shot today uh, with the water filter project and um, I'm, I'm seeing where what I have you know, I, I'm seeing where it goes how it does uh, I'm going to do a test of it uh, probably after the show. I just want to make sure I'm using uh, an adhesive called B7000 to try to seal uh, those 90s for the sight tube. So I want to make sure before I go full bore into the uh, top bucket, I want to make sure that that's going to seal up okay. And, um, you know, it's going to be, it, it smells like model glue, but supposedly it's, uh, it's rated for H, uh, HDPE uh, plastics. So I know I put some on a, a, our laundry detergent bucket and um, it adhered to it, but I, I was able to pull it off with my fingernails. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. There's other ways to go about it. If the um, if this uh, B7000 stuff doesn't work, um, we're not just uh, we're not just done and over with it. I'll go get some rubber washers and some uh, nuts that will fit the 90s, and we'll be in business for sure then. So that's what's up on that. So that project is well underway. In fact, I would say it's over halfway done, and um, so that's going okay. Uh, obviously, I got Windows reinstalled. Um, Aaron had told me, thank you, Aaron, about a bug in the new, uh, the newer uh, Windows 10 disks that um, don't allow you to um, rewrite the boot record, to fix the boot record. So, uh, because when I tried that yesterday, it came up access denied, and I'm like, huh? But, um, so what I'm going to do, and I haven't gotten a copy yet, but I'm going to get a copy of an older version of Windows 10, and, uh, I'm going to try again just to get that to boot up, because I'd like, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to be able to export out of there and, and whatnot, so, um, I am going to try to revive that operating system, but, uh, I, I have access to all the files that's on that drive and everything, it's all plugged in now and everything, so I didn't lose anything which is uh, absolutely wonderful because I had some stuff on there that I didn't have backed up to another drive. So it's a good thing I didn't lose any of it. So let's see. Um, there's, there's, there's quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I'm, my mind's still blown, by the way. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get most of the tweets out until just not even an hour ago. And uh, my mind is still absolutely blown with the last thing that I tweeted out. And we'll talk about that in, in a bit. Um, I am really, really absolutely dumbfounded uh, with that bit of news. So I want to speak one more thing about these buckets in the water filter. And, and I think it's important because it's where I give all my glory. Let me grab, uh, let me grab the little, little booklet that came um with the buckets let me let me grab it i, I was going to do it before i sat down and i forgot one second all i had to do was kind of stand up and reach but still okay uh let me throw my glasses here so it's nice once in a while to get a confirmation confirmation that you're doing the right thing and uh, that you're going the right direction and again I, I, I give all the glory to all of this to God and and I know I don't talk about it all the time 
and I don't intend to talk about it all the time. That's not what we do. We do news. So um, I, I, I do, however, I give everything to him. And so we ordered these plastic buckets for this water filter project and, you know, just ordering buckets. I, I found the uh, best deal I could for what I was looking for. And uh, today we got them in and inside the uh, inside the package was a, a neat little booklet. Um, the front of it says Extraordinary Man, Extraordinary Life, or Ordinary Man, Extraordinary Life. The story of Stanley Tam, founder, U.S. Plastic Corporation. And it's got quite a bit in here. I'm not going to read it all, but, but I'm going to uh, read something that's in the back of it. Just, just one little bit of it. And it's, uh, it, it was mind-blowing to me. And it's just one more confirmation uh, that I'm on the right track here. So it says, a 100% decision. While the plastic business grew, Stanley also grew in his relationship with God. How he treated customers, vendors, and employees. All his decisions were motivated by his respect for God. Then, Stanley made a decision that would forever mark his business. He gave over 100% ownership of the company to God by setting up a foundation. To this day, the foundation owns U.S. Plastic Corporation and gives 100% of the dividends to bring God's hope and tangible support to communities around the world. So I thought that was absolutely incredible. Here I was just uh, out on the interwebs trying to find a good deal on buckets. And, uh, and, and turns out um, that just in doing that, I, w I was doing an awesome thing, even though I only spent $30 and some odd cents with them. You know, it's... Uh, it's it's good to know that, that that's going towards a good direction. It's going towards a, a righteous direction. That that is absolutely awesome. So I wanted to share that with everybody. I thought that was kind of cool. And um, he's got a book, and so it's just like a free book. All I got to do is uh, send in this postcard, and I'll get a copy of it. And uh, I, I don't believe it's going to be the Watchtower, but we'll find out because I'm going to send it in and uh, and get a copy and, and see what it's about. So anyway. Um, continuing on here, let me go ahead and get the housekeeping out of the way real quick, and then uh, we'll get to the news I tweeted, which was uh, pretty crazy. If you, by chance, uh, you may or may not have caught the live stream earlier, I, I, I know a lot of people didn't. I was just uh, tootling around in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, doing some testing on the system, and uh, so I was kind of having fun wound up uh, being a 38 minute video of me uh me flying around in flight sim but it was pretty cool i love flying in flight sim so uh let's uh talk finances here subscribers went down i must be telling the truth again uh let's see uh we a little bit we we raised a little bit i thought we were 31 like 86 or something like that so s roughly 12 cents or so in the last two days go youtube right um, Steam, uh, let's see, we're still sing sitting at the same as I told you the last time, uh, 7.894, uh, Steam dollars, and, uh, we've got a little more, roughly, it'll probably be about 3.2 more or so, or maybe 3 more, uh, that will be due, I guess, in about 5 hours or so, so, uh, not a lot, but, uh, we're going up. We're, we're going up, and, and I appreciate uh, DLive and, and those uh, at DLive for definitely helping out like that. That's awesome. So uh, let's see. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to go follow some followers. Uh, I try to keep up on that um, because it's just kind of a courtesy kind of thing. Uh, at least I think so. <laughs> so that's where we are with, uh, with, with Steam and DLive. And uh, nothing today on AdSense, at least so far. Uh, so far this month, we've got eight dollars and eighty-seven cents. That'll go over to the uh, to the balance uh, come next month. And of course, um, until we reach that hundred-dollar threshold, um, we can't cash out. So, um, what is this about? I know I'm a broken record, but there are people that stop in that haven't came here before, and I think it's important that I say. On our website, we've got a couple ad uh, places for ads, and you don't have to buy anything or, or, or fill anything out, sign up or anything like that. You just got to click the stupid thing, 
And believe it or not, two or three clicks on ads on the website and give us like between a buck and a buck fifty. It's incredible. It really, truly is incredible. And, um, and it helps. It, it builds up over the month. And uh, as soon as we build up a $100 in AdSense, then we can cash out and we can put that money towards more projects and do more things. So um, that's, what, uh, that's what that is all about. So that, uh, that covers the finances. Not a whole lot there, of course. Let's, um, let's go ahead and get to the news, and I, I want to talk about the shocking thing, and, and f- I'll, t- I'll tell you what I was telling Jen, um, and, then, uh, and then we'll go from there. But uh, let's go ahead and get through the rest of the stuff first. So um, here's the interesting thing. I guess YouTube is making some changes in your subscription feed, and I should have seen this one coming. Facebook a little while back made a change to where instead of you seeing uh, chronological um, posts or chronological replies to people's statuses, they changed it to, to where by default it was top comments, okay? And so, in fact, it wound up top comments. Some comments have been filtered out. Thanks, you or Facebook, you know? And so it looks like YouTube is going down that same path. Check this out. Uh, What Ethan said was the sub feed was the last place that was untouched by YouTube's optimization. Now YouTube can make your channel completely invisible even to your own subscribers. Stop wasting our time, Team YouTube. Just erase the sub button already. Show us what you want us to watch. And so this is, uh, you know, somebody said here, why aren't the videos in my subscription feed in chronological order anymore? And Team YouTube, uh, ScrewTube, replied, just to clarify, we are currently experimenting with how to show content in the subs feed. We find that some viewers are able to more easily find the videos they want to watch when we order the subs feed in a personalized order versus always showing most recent first. So, you know, of course, it's always for your convenience, right? But that is exactly what they are doing. That is exactly what they are doing. They can't stop. They can't stop the information flow. They are trying and trying and trying and trying, and it's just pouring out. It's just pouring out. Um, and, and that, in an odd way, reminds me of something I was going to bring up at the very top of the show, and it skipped my, uh, it skipped my mind. Um, and I apologize for that because this should have been at the very, very top of the show. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, I do have a, a sad announcement to make. And um, some of you may or may not know the channel. Um, but we lost somebody in the YouTube family. And, uh, and, and so I thought I would make mention of it. Um, Melvin Arches, he is called into our show uh, back when we were in Mount Vernon and doing the call-in shows and stuff, Melvin has called in a few times, and uh, if you heard him, you would recognize him. He's he's uh, he he does have a speech impediment, and uh, you would recognize him if if I went back and played an archive. And we lost him. I'm not quite sure uh, what happened. He had the channel, the Centurion Report. That was his channel. And um, I'm not quite sure what happened. I, 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 I want to say that I recall that he was battling some type of an illness. Uh, I'm thinking maybe cancer. Um, but we have, we have lost him. And so my, my thoughts and, and prayers um, go out to his family and his loved ones and, and his YouTube family. And um, it's, it's, it's a very sad day for those of us that do what we do. So I wanted to make mention of that, and, and I deeply apologize for not saying that at, at the very, very top of the show. That, that I, I don't know what got my head somewhere else, but um, that's not good. I, I apologize. Uh, Russia provides evidence that Ukrainian BUK launchers downed MH17. MH17, folks. <laughs> you hear that, right? Wow. Sanctions against Sputnik, another act of political censorship. Yep, they're at it again with that, by the way. 
It's, it's insane. They are destroying any truth out there because they have to. Too many people are waking up. Way too many people are waking up. For them. Not for us. For them. Trump calls off June 12th meeting with Kim Jong-un. Hopes to meet him someday. And I kind of had a feeling all that was going to fall apart. So, I mean, just stuff did not seem right with all that whatsoever. Uh, investigation of MH17 crash in Ukraine biased, says the Russian Foreign Ministry. Oh, well, of course it is. Syrian military airport was subject of missile aggression. Attack intercepted. And this, this is insane. And we're going to read this article and I'm still, I haven't read the article yet. I'm still like, my jaw is on the floor. Movie mogul Harvey Weinstein expected to turn himself into New York City police Friday. Now, my only issue with that headline is if it were anybody else, man, they'd be like SWAT teamed and shot in the face. You know, and, and when, it's, when it's a celebrity, they're like, oh, yeah, well, I'll come in. Uh, let's see. Let me put it on my colander. I mean, let me, have my, let me have my agent call you, and I'll come turn myself in for these um, chronic, just absolutely insane sexual predator crimes, right? Let me have my agent call you, and uh, maybe we'll do lunch. Meanwhile, all of us are shot in the head. Which, by the way, all sexual predators should be shot in the head. That's a pretty good cure for the problem. Anyway, um, let, me, let me open this up. Because I don't even know, you know, hell, I don't know. It could be because he blew a traffic light. I don't, I, I don't know, but I'm assuming it's probably not. Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein is going to turn himself into New York City police on Friday to face sex abuse charges, sources familiar with the case revealed Thursday. Weinstein has been the subject of a probe by the New York police and a Manhattan district attorney's office. The Miramax co-founder and former head is facing charges that he forced aspiring act actress Lucia Evans to perform oral sex on him in 2004, according to Daily News. Evans told Ronan Farrow, who broke open the story on allegations about Weinstein for The New Yorker after years of rumors that she clearly told the producer to stop over and over. Weinstein has also been accused of sexual misconduct and assault, including rape, by actresses Rose McGowan, Asia Argento, as well as a host of other women, including some who worked for him at Miramax. Some members of his staff had also been accused of enabling or brushing off his behavior. Weinstein has admitted to boorish manners, but denied any wrongdoing, and his attorney, Benjamin Brafman, declined to comment on the reports. Sexual misconduct charges are expected to be brought against Weinstein in state court in Manhattan. Weinstein was fired from Miramax in October 2017, and his wife of a decade, designer Georgina Chapman, has begun divorce proceedings against him. So, you know, again, if there were anybody else, they would be SWAT teamed, right? And I, I, this is just mind-blowing, mind-blowing. And now, you know, that I read the article, because the entire time, by the way, when, 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 before I even tweeted it out, all I seen was the name Harvey Weinstein, all right? And I'm sitting there trying to tweet stuff out, bef you know, before the show, and, and, um, and I thought, oh, he must have died. What a, what a perfect time for him to, you know, come up, you know, quote, unquote, dead, right? But... Uh, it wasn't indeed that. It wasn't that. And then, then my next thoughts were, and, and that's what I was thinking up until I just read this. My next thoughts were, well, w wait a minute. Is there something actually being done? Are we actually getting somewhere now with the epidemic of, of what's going on in these sex crimes? But after reading the article, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is just, uh, you know... 
I, I think this is kind of one of those just uh, uh, isolated things when it comes because I think I think a lot of these folks are connected. You know, the Clintons and 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 Weinstein and and Podesto and I, I think it's all connected. I really, really do. And uh, you know, I was starting to wonder if maybe that was the beginning of the fall of all that. But I don't think so. I think this is an isolated thing. Um, I think, uh, well, we'll just say Weinstein got his wiener in a ringer, right? So I, we'll see. We'll see. You know, it'd be nice if one of these folks would, would go down and, uh, and, and take everybody else with them, right? Or something, something. But uh, we'll see what happens here because it's, it's, it's too often we see um, somebody of, of that caliber, you know, the great Poupon pukes, um, that, uh, that, that walk away with probation or six months probation or, or you know, little bitty stupid uh, sentences for horrific crimes. So we'll see what happens, you know. Um, I, I don't expect much of it. I really don't. I think it's probably more show than anything. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the monologue up there um, and uh, get, get busy with the rest of the live show. I want to thank those uh, that, just, that just watched the monologue. And once again, I want to apologize for my absence yesterday. It wasn't by choice, I promise. And uh, we're going to see how much better we can make things uh, in the very coming days. We really are. We're going to try to blast out to even more platforms uh, I am going to do something about this not so great looking uh, screen you're looking at and uh, and we'll go from there. So as always, God bless you. We love you and be one with your spirit.